Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. Today I am going to do a quick disassembly slash teardown video of the new Nokia 8210 4G available from Nokia's website and everywhere else for about £65 here in the UK which is a total ripoff in my opinion. Feel free to watch my full review of this phone. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't like it at all. I also compared it with the original OG uh, Nokia 8 to 10 and you can see how much bigger it is for a dumb phone that's probably one of the most expensive dumb phones i already did a durability test as well you can see the battle scars of those two phones over here but nevertheless today i'm going to do a tear down of this phone now it survived my durability test um but that doesn't say much to be honest with you it's more interesting to see what's going on inside the phone so Without further ado, let's get this baby open. This is the original Nokia battery. You can see the uh, number over here, BLL4E, almost 1500 milliamp hours. Uh, and I'm gonna leave it on the side over here, guys. And let's have a look at the inside of the phone. What are we dealing with? I'm very happy that it has two SIM slots this time around. Usually in the UK, we've got only one SIM slot. And, and in Asia they've got two SIM slots, but anyway, this time they did a good job. Now, all I can see is just six screws over here, so that should be a pretty straightforward tear down. If you haven't got nails, I've cut my ones <laughs> this time, you need one of those cards, most probably, to work with. And of course, if you don't have a proper set of screwdrivers, show me we have no affiliate links just some very good screwdrivers that serve me well in all of my repairs because unlike uh, you know other youtubers i actually work and fix phones not for a living but for a hobby so having a look at those tiny little screws over here i'm gonna have to guess the size it's not very big so torx t4 is my guess let's have a look if i'm right or not and i'm totally right guys so one screw over here we are going to just undo it like that when you work on phones it's always a good idea to organize your uh you know uh, screws i usually don't do that and i keep losing them but this time i'm gonna use the back cover over here guys uh, it's a pretty straightforward, uh, you know, process over here. Nothing special. Remember, back in the day, they used to put a warranty stickers in one of the screws. So if it's damaged, they, they don't honor your warranty. I guess they don't do that anymore. But nevertheless, for this kind of phone, the thing is, for a cheap phone like that, it should be repairable. Where is the where is the old uh, Nokia 8210? Let me know, by the way, if you want me to do a tear down of the original 8 to 10 this phone is you know you can change absolutely anything on this phone of course uh, you know with the screen it's a little bit dodgy over here but anyways nevertheless i'm just gonna leave this one over here just to remind us you know of the of the good old days um unfortunately nobody's going to remember this phone uh, that's probably one of the worst nokia products that they've put out the last few years and i know that's not you know exactly the good old nokia that we all remember this kind of stuff but at least you know at least they could they could have put some effort into this legendary phone it's uh you know similar to the new toyota supra that that they've done the uh, you know rebranded bmw but but that's that's even worse that's not based on anything good so yeah so let's see how do we proceed we did the basic screws over here what do we do guys i mean all of that is, is cheap you know plastic fantastic so uh yeah all right this bit is out what can we see over here guys that's i have no idea what that is because the microphone is uh, at the front to be honest with you and it doesn't come out either so no idea what kind of part is this one to be honest with you uh this one as well is some sort of a contact over here maybe for the antenna who knows yeah maybe that's hiding the antenna over here but nevertheless that is the speaker over here as you can see that's a generous uh, you know size pretty old school spring loaded connector over here guys and there's the speaker mesh i'm just gonna check this aside and let's have a look at the main board over here we've got the micro 
uh, you know, um, USB charging connector over here, which is solidly, solidly soldered <laughs> to the main board, so that's not a replaceable part. I'm afraid this is the battery connector, so be careful when you put, uh, you know, the battery uh, with force because that might snap. Uh, what else? We've got the two SIM slots over here. Again, they're not on a separate connectors. They're just, uh, you know, uh, on the main board over here as well. I can imagine that this is the CPU somewhere over here, or this one or this one. Now, uh, the, we've got some over here, some Finnish address. Uh, you know, in Finland, but we have made in Vietnam, which only speaks about one thing, uh, you know, cheaply built in my mind. We've got this very weird connector. Where, where is this one? Let me have a look. All right. So that's probably the SD. All right. So that's the memory card slot. It's a very weird connector. I've never seen one of these before. Um, but yeah, I would say it's a budget connector. This is the 3.5 millimeter jack. And this is our tiny camera and that could be the tiniest camera I have ever seen put on a phone, guys. We are just going to unstop it like that. But check this out. This little guy over here, it's absolutely ridiculous, guys. It says something over here. Uh, retro. Does it say retro? Really? Retro FFV1. I mean, that's not, that's not a good sign by any means. But yeah, and that's our main board over here, guys. This is the flashlight over here. You can see how tiny this LED is over here. And let's see, do we have some sort of a date stamp? 21, 22 over here. Maybe that could be a date stamp. I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. And let's have a look at the other side and have a look, have a look at this connection over here, guys. Oh my God. I mean, did they really, really do that? Check this out. There's something that, that they, I could do. I'm not an expert in soldering by any means, but I can do some cheap points like that. But that's, 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 I mean, that's crazy, guys. But anyways, uh, let's proceed and see if we have any replaceable parts. Oh my God, what is that over here? Guys, seriously, seriously, what is, that's, that's nothing. Are we for real? I mean, that's literally, you know, <laughs> A wire going nowhere just like so like oh man I'm, I'm blown away I mean what is that why 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 does that even exist I mean oh my god and uh, <laughs> we're gonna flip it on the other side and this is the microphone guys this is the microphone over here and again this is not user replaceable as well and that's gonna be very difficult to repair by a non-skilled, uh, you know, mobile repair guy, uh, simply because you can see that it's soldered somewhere on the main board. I mean, if you make this phone wet and, uh, you know, the water goes inside this microphone, basically the main board is toast. The LED backlight is, I can imagine these four spots over here and I already have marks on the screen, how nice is that but but i mean don't get me wrong it looks nice and clean simple but let's have a look at what's going on with the screen over here can we actually get the screen out somehow let me see i'm going to be very gentle over here okay i can pry it off a little bit okay let me use that tool tool <laughs> okay i just called the you know old sim card tool but anyways what do we have over here guys and tada the screen is not replaceable not not easily i mean if you're not what you're doing this is this is quite dangerous and you know quite difficult to pull off so if you crack the screen that's about it we have a uh, you know date stamp on the screen over here you can see the screen number i'm gonna make your life easier and i'm going to peel this one off a little bit so you can see better what is the screen number over here, guys. I hope you can see it from the parts over here. I'm really not sure that's V and zero, I can imagine, a really bad print. But the thing is with those Nokia phones, they don't have a replacement screens uh, for sale anywhere. Um, I had issues with the banana phone and with the Nokia 800 and I couldn't find, you know, any replacement parts anywhere online for years after that. So that's really, a not very good policy by Nokia not to release any spare parts. It's not that over here we've got any, you know, <laughs> actual 
parts that are easy to replace apart from the extremely crappy camera over here but yeah i'm surprised i mean i'm surprised that there's there's not much you can do really but i guess that brings uh, you know the price down you get the robots to uh, you know manufacture and solder all all of that crap for you and then pretty much that's it but that this one like <laughs> if somebody you know knows what that this one is please do let me know because i'm absolutely stunned i mean you just have a cable hanging around like that but yeah that's pretty much it let's have a look at this uh at least the keyboard please tell me the keyboard is replaceable guys i mean at least one part in this phone should be replaceable right uh let's see let's see let's see i mean the keyboard is crushed anyways so i'm just gonna push it like that from this side Ah, come on no even the keyboard is not easily replaceable they're gonna make you sweat on this one as well i have to bend the plastic fantastic like that and finally be able to take it out so yeah let's say let's say the keyboard is easily replaceable and uh yeah oh my god that's that, that's absolutely crazy guys i mean what have they done tell me what have they done the speaker over here is a very small size as you can see i guess you can easily you know replace this part as well but that's pretty much it this is the new nokia 8 to 10 and uh, i'm not surprised i mean i'm disappointed <laughs> but i'm not surprised because you know being a cheap phone that this one is you can't really expect much more than that to be honest with you and what is that crap over here oh that, that's the holder for the camera yeah oops the this the display is coming off so yeah absolutely no parts you can replace apart from you know the top speaker over here and the camera and pretty much that is it which means that this phone is absolutely disposable if you ever had a problem with this phone just check it and get another one by the way my recommendation is if you're looking to get one of these old nokia phones but you still want you know a reasonably decent camera and a bluetooth you can easily get the nokia 6300 they're cheap as chips nowadays second hand on ebay so that is just my recommendation so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching and uh you know i apologize for my uh true fans which stuck with me um you know throughout the years i'm super late with this video i know you i i i promise you guys to release it sooner but you know i'm busy with some other stuff in my life so i really don't have the time uh you know to put into these videos anymore so basically i did this one for you guys um but yeah nevertheless do you want me to do uh, the same pretty much treatment on the old 8 to 10 let me know and i've got plenty of all uh, you know um, old nokia phones from my collection i can do these kind of videos of course if you really want to see them and if you're interested in them nevertheless so yeah i'm very grateful to have you on board guys thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one Adios.